Let's get things started. Uh, this is the next in our series of online events that I'm doing seven days a week at this time to help businesses just like yours and mine. And the goal is to bring businesses together and to help us all be more successful. And for those who have never experienced a downturn before of any description, you know, this may be new to you. Um, I know many people who, for instance, started investing uh, sometime in the last five years. And all they have known is a bull market. And obviously, we're not in a bull market right now. And so many people just, you know, they're just not sure. What do I do? I mean, will this ever end? When will the pain be over? And the good news is that it will end. And our goal here is to work together to try to make that happen more quickly. My ask of you as an attendee of this session is to share my emails. Share the emails that you get both about this event and the emails that uh, come out weekly. Our weekly newsletter tends to come out on Mondays or Tuesdays. And share my social posts too. And then like my social pages. Get that audience growing. But what it also does is it helps your circle, people that you influence and people that influence you, uh, they get to know a little bit more about the kinds of ways to market their business. I mentioned the workshop I did just uh, 15 minutes before this one. And one of the people that attended uh, in the comments said, you know, I've been a marketer for 40 years and I learned stuff from you today. So you can too. And I hope that you'll share that information with people you know. This is about video marketing for business. Video is an increasingly and amazingly powerful tool that's cost effective and it's a way for you to market your business. So here's what I'm going to teach you in the next 20 minutes. It's how to capitalize on video marketing. Now we're broadcasting this on Zoom. We'll be having replays available on YouTube and on our website probably later in the day today. But in the meantime, if you have questions, go ahead and ask them in the Q&A box. Use Q&A for questions and use the chat box to let me know what city you're joining me from and any other comments you might have. So why is all of this important to you now? It's because right now we have the perfect tools to target our perfect customers. Video is one of those tools. Now, this is a 20 minute version of a 90 minute workshop that I would normally deliver. So we're going to put a lot of stuff into the next 20 minutes. It's called Video Marketing for Business. And if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Now, what video marketing will do for you is enable you to communicate a ton of stuff in a very short amount of time. It's often said that a minute of video is worth a million words. And you know how that compares to a photo, right? A picture is worth a thousand words. Well, a minute of video is worth a million words. It's all about engagement though. You see, when you're using video, your audience isn't just reading, they're being informed, they're being entertained, educated, if you will. And what a video will do when it's done the right way will, is it will help your brand become far more memorable. And if you're putting the right keywords into your videos, and here I'm talking about when you post your video on places like YouTube and Vimeo. When you put your keywords in the description area, that helps with your search engine optimization. So when people follow you by virtue of the videos that you post, your website ranks higher faster. So there are three things I'm going to cover over the next 20 minutes. Number one is why you should use video. Number two is how and three is the results. This will help you bring your marketing efforts to new heights. So why should you consider video? It's really all about engagement. 
How engaging is video? Take a look at these stats. 85% are more likely to purchase a product or service after watching a product video. Viewers spend 100% more time on pages that have videos on them. And posts with videos attract three times more inbound links than plain text posts. So think about it this way. What if I put a text out there that says, I'm thinking about getting a dog. Or maybe I put a text out there that says, I got a new puppy and he's cute. Well, that may attract a certain number of your loyal followers, but probably not the same engagement as the photo of the puppy or maybe this video. You see, when you have video, when you have people who are paying attention to the video, that's going to attract an awful lot of people. And that's way more powerful and way more engaging than simply a text that says, hey, I got a new puppy. I'm sure you'd agree with that, wouldn't you? Which is more engaging, of course, the video and the image, far more than the text. So what exactly is the value of video? Well, when you're trying to reach decision makers, video is very, very important. 65% of C-level and senior executives will visit a vendor's website after they viewed a video. And visitors who watch a video on a retail site stay two minutes longer than those who don't. Two minutes may not sound like very much, but if you understand that the average person spends seconds on a web page, not minutes, that's a dramatic increase and a strong vote for having video on your website. Also, video increases conversion rates. I mentioned a propensity of someone to buy when they see a video. 30% greater conversion is really impressive. When you understand that most internet retailers are using video and that emails that have video increase engagement dramatically, that becomes something you really need to do. When you have video on a web page, you increase the chance that you'll become front page on Google by 53 times. And by the way, did you know the best place to bury a body? That's on page two of Google. Nobody goes there. So if you have video on your website and you send people to that page, Google will know that you're getting a lot of engagement and they will rank your page that much higher. So how do you create a video anyway? Well, you could have it professionally done. You don't have to do it yourself, but you can. Check out this video. Okay, tip number two, buying property in Spain. Welcome to the buying property in Spain top tips. Tip number two, when you're buying property in Spain, always use a lawyer. <laughs> Okay, I know there have been stories in the press about people who used lawyers and they got ripped off and things. Use a lawyer who you've got good recommendations about. There's plenty of people who bought in Spain before you. Some of them used a lawyer, some of them didn't use a lawyer. And those who didn't are usually the ones who get in trouble. Use a lawyer, but get good references about your lawyer. Yeah? So, tip number two when you're buying property in Spain, always use a lawyer. a video outdoors, the camera probably sitting on a tripod with no fancy equipment beyond that. And so it was very easy to get an engaging video produced and they added some subtitling below it. Simple to do. So you don't have to go to a production company to do that. Of course, those who are in professional videographers are going to give you that added plus 
when you do video through them. But the point is you don't have to be afraid of shooting a video on your own. Let me spend a moment on YouTube, which clearly is the most popular place for people to house their videos. Did you know that on mobile alone, YouTube in an average week attracts more adults age 18 and over in prime time than any cable TV network does. And also YouTube mobile users are twice as likely to pay close attention while watching YouTube as compared to TV users watching TV. People watch YouTube for a reason and they've gone to YouTube to find out information or to be entertained either way, or maybe both. Here are the kinds of results that you should expect from video marketing. Number one, for sure, you'll get more social media exposure. Your page rankings will go up. Here's an example of a search that I did on YouTube for how to repair a leak. And what came up first, the top two entries were videos. I didn't even bother looking at the text below. I wanted to learn how to repair that leak quickly. And those videos were the way to do it. So as I mentioned earlier, when you have a web page with video, you're 53 times more likely to show up on the front page of Google. Be sure that you add the right keywords so that you'll show up at the top of the listing. And when you include video in an email, your click-throughs go up dramatically too. In this example, this is HubSpot, their click-throughs went up by 583% by including a video. So conversions clearly go up when people get to see and hear what you have to offer. So the key success factors when using video are that they improve your SEO results dramatically. You need to create a YouTube channel. That is a critical success factor. And YouTube channels, at least for now, are free. And use keywords so that you can be found. Let me show you a segment of another video that I found doing a search when I had an issue to resolve at my home. Hi guys, Pat the Plumber here, and in today's video, we're gonna go through four different techniques on how to free up a slow moving or clogged tub and shower drain. Well guys, I threw together this quick little mock-up so we have a better understanding of what's in behind the tub and what actually we're gonna be doing. So right here we have our tub drain, which flows down into a TY, into a P-trap, and then our trap arm. Above so that you is your see, overflow with overflow cap. Hi guys, Pat the Plumber here. It's pretty easy to create videos that are simple to understand when you're looking at a person who's looking at you through the lens of a camera. It personalizes the experience. If you watch the video, it feels like you almost get to know the person. So video, once again, doesn't have to be a high budget event. You could do it fairly quickly using your smartphone camera. So as far as those DIYers among us go for do-it-yourselfers, you can practice with smartphones and tablets. This is a video that I shot using a smartphone a few years ago, and it communicated the message very easily. And when it comes to software, DIYers, do-it-yourselfers, can start by using YouTube's video editing and titling tools. And they become better and better and easier to use. So don't be too shy about using some of the online tools until you get more proficient at it and until you get to a point where you want to begin investing in those tools. So YouTube really is a great resource in fact, you can just go to YouTube and type in, how do I make a video on YouTube? And you'll see a whole slew of videos that people have put together that teach you how to do a video. Of course, we could teach you as well. If you're ready to get started, 
Some of the options include Camtasia that's done by TechSmith and we're partners of Camtasia. So if that's something you're interested in, I can set you up with a free trial. Um, Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut, which is used on uh, Apple platforms. There are lots of tools out there that you can use. I would encourage you to experiment and create a series of videos before announcing that your channel is available. So don't just create one video and say, hey, I've got a YouTube channel, everybody come watch. Because if you only have one video up there, people may watch it and then they'll forget about you. Uh, on our YouTube channel, we have 150 videos for people to watch. And uh, when you go to the YouTube page, uh, this is what it looks like. And you can track the number of views on your videos as well. Uh, so you'll be able to see which of your videos is getting the highest level of engagement. And that may be based on the subject matter. It may be based on your production value. But YouTube makes it very simple for you to understand which of your videos are getting you the greatest impact. Once you're ready, once you have several videos out there, announce your channel's availability via email and social media. And speaking of email, what's the number one app that people check on their cell phone? It's email. So email marketing becomes a perfect platform for marketing your videos. Did you know that 99% of people are checking their email every day? And these days, when so many of us are at shelter at home situations, we're checking our email all the time. In fact, more than three quarters of us prefer to be marketed to via email because it's a very passive way to stay in touch with your clients and prospects. Email has a pretty amazing return on investment. It's well over 38 to one. In fact, the latest data says it's 42 to one. So create your video, embed your video in an email, upload that video to social media, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all of them. But make sure you keep those videos short. People don't have a very long attention span. Link your videos to your social media channels. Embed them on your website if you have one. Put them in your email campaigns to get maximum reach and exposure. So what's your next step? Hey, your customers are watching video. So give them something to watch. And then make sure you attach your videos to an email. Email is very, very affordable. It starts at just $20 a month with no contract. So I'd encourage you to get a 60-day free trial if you're not already using email marketing. Go to completelyfreetrial.com. Completely free trial.com. And if you go to that page and the system comes back and says, hey, you've already got an account with us, don't worry, put a different email address in there and you'll be able to set that up automatically with nobody needing to help you. No credit card is needed. And uh, But if you'd like us to set it up for you, we're happy to do it. Again, it starts at just $20 a month and we'll give you some free training if you become a paid account we'll create a template for you, we'll upload your list for you, we'll get you going right away. So my question for you is this, if you don't do anything different, if you don't start using video, what will your 2020 look like compared to last year? We're unfortunately already off to a rough start, but we've got a long way to go between now and the end of this year. So take action. I've got time for Q&A. If you're not sure where the Q&A box is, move your mouse to the bottom of the screen. If you're on a smartphone or tablet, just touch down at the bottom of the screen. The Q&A and chat boxes will open up. Uh, raise your hand if you enjoyed do watching this uh, webinar. Rosemary, awesome. John, Trish, Gunnar, Blaine, Anna, Rhonda, Lori, Forrest, Ron, James, Mark, Terrence, Hannah. Wow, I can't go down. That, that, you guys are quick. That's awesome. Hey, I'd love for you to include uh, questions if you have any. 
Uh, if you have any comments, if you didn't let me know what city you're joining me from yet, go ahead and let me do that. My name is Ken Countess. I'm Managing Director of the Countess Group. We help businesses like yours gain an unfair advantage over your competition. We are a full service marketing consultancy. We can help you with just about anything you need to market your business. We've got over 30 people ready to serve you with over 40 years of experience. So we can coach you and we can do it for you. But most importantly, take the time to absorb what you've learned over the last half hour and call me if you have any questions. We're, we're all going to get through this time by working together. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll look at the other screens and see where the question, what the questions are and where you're all joining me from. Uh, in the meantime, if you'd like to view replays of this event, uh, if you'd like to sign up for additional events, if you're looking for some marketing tools to help you do a better job of marketing your business, if there are other things you need in the way of marketing, check out our website. It's thecountessgroup.com. And uh, connect with me on social media. I'll leave this slide up here for a moment. Uh, as you could see that uh, my last name, Countess, is in the uh, URL of most of the, in fact, all of the social channels we're on. So our Facebook page has 6,000 people following us. It's the Countess Group. On YouTube, it's Countess Group without the the. Uh, LinkedIn, type in my name in the search bar. There are 5,200 people following me there. You can find us on Instagram and Pinterest and Twitter as well. And uh, once again, my ask is that you share my emails and social posts and like our social media pages and let your friends know that you spent some time with me today and you learned a lot. While I look at the Q&A box, I wanna share a short video with you. Hey, this is Ken Countess. And while I do this every morning, we do it on Zoom and stream it also on Facebook Live. If you have something you'd like me to cover, go ahead and send it in. Let me know what you'd like me to do for you. This is all in response to the pandemic. Businesses have been hurt. I want to help. So please join me tomorrow morning. Join the rest of the crowd. We'll see you then. Okay, so um, let's see. Blaine says, hey, I'm a Constant Contact member. Will I be able to load a video on that platform? Uh, Blaine, the answer is that you're not actually loading a video onto Constant Contact. What Constant Contact does, if you're using the Email Plus package, uh, is that it gives you a button that you can drag into your email, say you create, and in that uh, link, it'll ask you for a, um, the URL of a YouTube video or a Vimeo video or a Wistia video. And so what happens is, when you drag that in and put that URL in, Constant Contact will find a screenshot and drop it in your email. And when somebody clicks on the link, it'll take them to that page on YouTube or Vimeo or Wistia. So it's not actually in the email itself. The reason for that is that videos consume a lot of memory, a lot of space, and most email platforms will not allow that size of video to be transported. It takes up too much bandwidth. So instead, what almost every single email marketing platform will do, with one exception, and that's BombBomb, uh, they will provide a link. They ask you to give a link. When people click on the link, it takes them out to the video. And then when they're done, they come back and want, read the rest of your email. Good question. Uh, Estefania, I hope I pronounced that correctly, asks, how long should the videos be? Uh, your early videos should be very short, <clears throat> half a minute, 15 seconds, no more than one minute. They need to be engaging. That's really the trick. Uh, as, and, I, and once again, I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly, Estefania. Um, the trick is that it's got to be engaging right from the beginning. You've got to grab somebody's attention right away so that they will want to watch the rest of that video or to watch more of your videos. Hope that helps. Hey, our next live event 
is tomorrow morning at 1130 Eastern Time, U.S. Eastern Time. Go to our website, it's thecountessgroup.com to get details, and we'll be posting this video up on our website and on YouTube later in the day today. My name is Ken Countess. I hope you'll join me for another webinar. Um, as I mentioned, we're doing them every single day from now until the end of April. Some days, in fact, it's mostly on Thursdays that we're doing two videos in that, uh, two webinars in that day. Uh, tomorrow, uh, April 14th, we're doing one at 11.30 in the morning Eastern and again at six o'clock in the evening Eastern. So you'll find them on our website. I hope you'll join us. And I wanna thank you for joining me during this event and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.